Hi guys, welcome back to the next episode of the Sam Jan Show. So today we're looking at what happens to parody movies, so let's get into it. Welcome back to the next episode of Sam Jan Show where we do pop culture. Uh, we talk about movies. Today we're talking about what happens to parody movies. Now you're probably thinking, what are parody movies? Now, um, it's from Wikipedia. Now, a parody film or spoof film is a subgenre of comedy film that parodies other genres or films as prestigious works created by imitation of style of many different films reassembled together. Although the subgenre is often overlooked by critics, parody films are commonly profited by the box office. So, um, so, um, you're probably thinking, what, what, what are parody movies? Well, uh, parody movies, they are, um, so, like, so here's, um, a couple of them, it's from all the way 1900s, all the way to, like, the 2000s. Now, they came more prominent in the 90s and the 2000s, so, I'm, on, I'm so you, you don't really hear them that much. Now, I'm going to ask, what happened to parody movies? Now, um... So, yeah, um, so let's get into it, um, there's lots to go through, so let's go through the early days of parody movies, so, um, so let me get rid of this, um, so let's go through all of them, I'll go through the, uh, so it all started in around the, well, it started in the nineteen hundreds, but let's go in like let's go to the nineteen seventies where they became more prominent. So it started in nineteen seventy four. We had two movies by Mel Brooks. We had Young Frankenstein, which starred um, um, Eugene Wilder, um, directed by Matt Brooks, and then we also had Blazing Saddles. Now these two were both made by Mel Brooks, and these two were uh, um, huge successes and started a wave of parody films. So yeah, so. In 1980, we had Airplane, and then we also had its sequel around the same time in 1982. Now, these two movies starred Robert Shea and um, Julie Haggerty. Now, these these ones were actually, these were proven to be successes, and this started a success of parody movies. Um, 1984, we had Spaceballs. Um, no, it came in 1980, 1987, we had Spaceballs, and this starred Mel Brooks um, and Rick Moranis, John Candy, Brenda Strong, and yeah, this was proven to be successful, this is a parody of, like, this is a parody of Frankenstein, this is more parody of, like, um, Westerns, these two are parody of, like, disaster movies, um, this was a parody of Star Wars, because Star Wars was, like, because when the, this was after the original trilogy came out, so this was successful. Um, there's been talks of them doing a sequel, but I don't know if we'll get it. Um, maybe because Mick Moranis has stopped his uh, acting anymore, and um, um, maybe he still acts. I just don't know. Um, so he signed on to do Shrunk, so who knows? We might get it. Um, then let's go to the 1980s, where um, also 1980s we had the Naked Gun movies um which is police squad if you don't know police squad that was a movie it was a tv show back in the day had like six episodes it starred leslie nelson who leslie nelson was also in airplane and then he did three movies so he had the naked gun um the naked gun two and a half the smell of fear and then finally we had the naked gun three and a half the final insult and yeah these were proven to be successful mainly because leslie nelson is a good actor and he's been acting for years and uh, this also um um, this was proven to be successful, and then they started doing others. So we had um, 1993, we had Loaded Weapon, which is pretty much... The Naked Gun movies are pretty much a parody of spy movies. Um, Loaded Weapon is... Well, its main parody is Lethal Weapon. Um, this starred Emily Estevez and Samuel R. Jackson. And um, so, yeah, Loaded Weapon 1. Now, this is 1. I think they would tend to do sequels, but they didn't do them. So yeah, this was proven to be successful, and then also we had Hot Shots, which Hot Shots was proven to be successful. This was 1991. This starred Valerina Galino, um, Kirsty Swanson, Ryan Stiles, Lloyd Bridges, John Cry, and Charlie Sheen. And um, 
Yeah, this was successful. Um, this stars Charlie Sheen and um, John Cry, who then go on to star in um, Two and a Half Men. And yeah, this was successful, and it was so successful they did a sequel called Heart Shots Part Deuce. Um, also signed Charlie Sheen. And, um, and um, yeah. So, yeah. And then, then in 1993, also in, 19, in 1993, we had um, Robin Hood Men in Tights, um, which this, uh, so which this starred Dave Chappelle, Amy Yasbeck, Roger Rees, uh, Richard Lewis, Mel Brooks, Carrie Elves. Uh, this was pretty much a parody of the, um, um, like Hot Shots were parody of self made. This is a parody of the Robin Hood movies back at the time. Um, not, not, not necessarily the Disney one, but the ones we had before that and after. And then also we had parody, we had parody movies. We had Plump Fiction, which is basically a parody of Pulp Fiction. You see a parodies in the cover. And then, um, we had, um, Silence of the Hams, which was pretty much a parody of Silence of the Lambs. And then, in 1996, we had Don't Be a Menace to South Central, Drinking Your Juice in the Hood, starring Sean Wayans, Marlon Wayans, this is from the crew of In Living Color, Sean Ivory Wayans, and this was the first of them doing parody movies, like, they were going to do White Chicks, um, Little Man, Scary Movies, um, Scary Movie, and then they were going to do Dance Flick, and yeah, Marlon Wayans, Sean Wayans, they're brothers, and they, they have been in several parody movies, and this one was success, this one was proven to be successful, that this began a wave of parody movies, so like, so in 1997, we had Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, now this is, um, a parody of the spy genre, um, mo most notably Jim James Bond, so we had 1997, we had Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, then 1999, we had Austin Powers, Spy Who Shagged Me, and then 2002, we had Gold Member, and then, um, yeah, so these were successful, and so 2000, we had Scary Movie, and this was a parody of Scream, and I know always said said something. This set the stage for parody movies, and there were plenty that came after this. And uh, so this had Marlon Wayne, Sean Wayans, it had Common Electra, it had Chan Elizabeth. Um, there was a there was a lot of this. Th this one was a successful scary movie. This one was successful because I think it had around how much did the scary movie make? It made around two hundred and seventy eight million. So that was successful. This was by Keen Ivory Wayans. And yeah, it parodies lots of movies. The most notable ones is Scream, and I know he did last summer. And yeah, so scary movie. This one, this is a good movie. I recommend you check this out. This one is one done right because scary movie. It did what he wanted to be. Like it was parodying um scary movies. And then yeah, so two thousand and one, we had scary movie two, also by the uh, Keen Ivory Wayans. Then scary movie three came out two thousand and three. This is when. The Wayne brothers, they left, and then Keenan Ivory, and then Sean Wayne's and Martin Wayne's, they both left the franchise. And then Anna Farrah stayed, and then um, Regina Regina Hall came, stayed. And then we had Charlie Sheen, we had Simon Rex, we had Leslie Nielsen. And yeah, this was a parody of the, um, the main parody of this is The Ring, The Ring horror movie, and then Scary Movie 4, which is a parody of Saw, and this came in 2006. Of the trilogy, yeah, this was supposed to be the last one in the trilogy, and obviously, 2013 we had Scary Movie Five, and this starred Ashley Tisdale, Charlie Sheen. Um, this is the first and only one not to star um Anna Faris and Regina Hall, and um yeah, so so there were other ones. There were Shriek, if you know, we did last Friday the 13th, which this starred Coolio, Shelley Jones, Tiffany Amber Thiessen, and on Tom Arnold, and this is a parody of the Scream movies, and um. Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, this came around the same time as Scary Movie, and this one was direct to video, so it didn't go in cinemas. If you like Scary Movie, you'll, you'll love this. So this pretty much follows the footsteps of Scary Movie. I, I think the reason why so many people haven't seen this movie is because it was direct to video. It didn't go in cinemas like um, Scary Movie, so yeah. Um, then 2001, we, got, we had um, Not Another Teen Movie, which is a parody of several teen movies. Uh, this starred Mia Kersha, Randy Quaid, Jamie Presley. This also starred um, um, Chris Evans. I think this was his early one of his early roles. Um, so yeah, this starred this starred Kyla Lee, 
which probably know from Stargirl and the Grey's Anatomy. So yeah, we had no another team movie. Next we had Kung Pao Enter the Abyss. This one was by Stephen Odenkirk. This is a parody of like the Kung Fu movies back in the day, like Drunken Master, Enter the Dragon, those movies. Um, yeah, so this one was actually successful. There's been talks of Steve Odenkirk doing a sequel, but we have to wait and see. So yeah, this one was actually a funny movie. I recommend you check this out. Then 2006, this started, This was the era from um, Jason Freeberg and um, Jason Freeberg and Aaron Seltzer, which um, yeah, so they've done a lot of movies. Um, um so yeah this was a parody of the date movie genre everyone wants a happy ending for people who do love date movies and people who hey let's start common lecture um adam campbell um um common lecture um sophie monk and um, alison hannigan this is a parody of date movies one of the other movies which this is the first one by james freeway aaron seltzer um and this, it says from the two of the six writers of Scary Movie. Uh, this one was proven to be successful. And they started a wave of um, parody movies. Um, Jason Freeberg and Aaron Seltzer. So it's date movie. I actually, I think out of this is the three they did. I think this is probably the best one. Because at least they, as bad as date movie is, I think it I did kind of no way it wanted to be. But still, it really wasn't that much of like... And then, so 2007, we had Epic Movie. And I actually like this movie. I know a lot of people don't like this one. I actually love this movie. Is a parody of the main parody of this is um um Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and yeah, we know it's big. We measured so this one was good. I really loved the Epic movie. Um, so yeah, um, two thousand eight we had Disaster movie. Now this is parody several movies. Mostly this Disaster movie, John. Your favorite movies are going to be destroyed. And this was just twenty eight. This movie was panned by critics, and it's often it's often the one of the worst movies of all time. Um. I know why, because there's really no story. It takes a parody of every movie that was... It takes a parody of every movie that came up before this. And there was even... They took they ripped off stuff that was even... Even when they were writing this movie. And they take it... They, 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 they copy Enchanted, even though Enchanted was a parody of other Disney movies. And then 2007, we had Meet the Spartans, um, which is the main parody of this is 300. And then we had 2008, we had Superhero Movie. I think this was the greatest Superhero Movie of all time, not counting all the others. Um, this one takes a, this one is a parody of superhero movies, most notably the Sam, the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie, and the stars Drake Bell, Leslie Nielsen also comes back, from the guys who brought you Scary Movie and the Naked Gun. I, I actually like this one, I think this is probably one of the better ones they did, um, because at least it knows what it wants to be. I actually enjoyed this movie, um, the stars Drake Bell, I would want to do a sequel that I don't think will happen now because of Drake Bell, but they can cast someone else, which, with, with the success of superhero movies now, I can see them doing a sequel to this. And um, so, yeah, uh, I highly recommend you check this one. This one's a really good one. 2008, we had Extreme Movie. Now, a lot of you may not have known this because I think this might have been director video. I don't know. This started Matthew Lillard. I think Michael Cera is in this movie as well. This is a parody of like the sex comedy movies. And then yeah, Vampire Sucks, which that was a parody. This is a parody of Twilight. Um, some sagas just don't die. Um, then we had Breaking Wind, which is also a parody of Twilight. And then. Then we had um, Van Helsing, which is a parody of horror movies. We had the 41-year-old virgin who knocked up Sarah Michelle and felt super bad about it. This is a parody of the 40-year-old virgin who um, knocked up and Sarah Michelle and super bad. And then, then we had the Starving Games, which is a parody of the Hunger Games. Then we have Fifty Shades of Black, which was a parody of uh, um, Fifty Shades of Grey. Then we have Super Fast, which is a parody of Fast and Furious movies. We had... A haunted House, Haunted House 2. These are pretty much parodies of um, Paranormal Activity. Um, paranormal Activity movies. And then we had Dance Flick, which is a parody of Save the Last Dance and other dance movies at the time. And then we had Spanish Movie, which, I don't know, this is a parody of maybe Spanish movies at the time. And yeah, so you're probably asking, what are the parody movies? Well, I think the main reason why they don't happen is maybe because of Aaron Soltz or Jason Freebo. Because they did day movie, epic movie, and, and um, disaster movie. Now, disaster movie was so bad, they, they decided to do movies, but you probably not have heard of them because of limited reasons. Um, I think the reason why parody movies, there's not that many now, is because I just don't really... F I mean, you because you still see some around, but they're not as freaking as they are. I think it peaked maybe in the 90s and maybe the early 2000s, but I think people just stopped caring because 
I'll say Scary Movie was like the most successful one, and there was other good ones. I just feel like they can be good parody movies. They just need to find a good story and something of what they're parodying. And that's pretty much it. This is pretty much what happened to parody movies. You can still find them. They still do them, but it's like very rare. And um, so yeah, so guys, so much for my video. I'll see my next video. Bye.